So here's another example of finding a least squares solution to a system. This time it's going to be, we're going to try to fit a parabola through these four points, uh, 1, 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2. Now, although uh, this looks sort of like a parabola kind of, you can see that it's not going to, this is not going to work. I mean, if I try to fit a parabola through here, first of all, a parabola can't go straight up and down. So I'm not going to be able to find a parabola that fits through here perfectly. So I need to find a parabola best fit. I have no idea what that might look like. It might sort of come through here and, you know, try to minimize the distance between all these points while, you know, getting as close as we can to them. So to find this parabola best fit, we're going to need to first of all set up a system. Now parabola, that's a quadratic polynomial. So that has the form y equals uh, some number a times x squared plus another number b times x plus another number c. Okay, so if this parabola were to theoretically in some world go through all four of these points, uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, if I plug in one, I'm supposed to get out one. So this would give me one equals one squared times a plus one times b plus c. So that equation would have to hold. Also, if I plugged in two, I should get zero out. So zero is equal to uh, two squared or four times a plus two times b plus c. I got two more equations coming up. If I plug in three, I get one. So one should equal nine a plus three b plus c. And also two should equal, again, if I plug in three, I should get out two. Now, of course, this is not gonna happen because uh, the last two equations in the system uh, can't, both, uh, can't both hold. But that's the whole point. This is not a solution that's gonna be solved. Uh, so we're gonna find the least square solution to it instead. So here it is as a linear system. Let's set this up as a matrix times a vector. Uh, so we're gonna con convert this uh, into an actual system where it's gonna have a, a vector or a matrix A times uh, an unknown vector X equals a vector B. Okay, so the coefficient matrix is just going to be our numbers over here, 1, 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 9, 3, 1, and another 9, 3, 1, 3, 1. Um, now I'm going to have uh, a vector x here, that's my unknowns, and the x here, of course, is just going to be, uh, I'll write this up here, x is equal to the vector a, B, C. These are our unknowns. We're trying to find the coefficients in this case. Now this is going to be equal to a solution vector uh, 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so that's my system. Uh, if I call this matrix A and I call this vector B, and that's uh, a different B of course than the B that's the here in the uh, in, this, in the uh, unknown vector, then the, the system AX equals B does not have a solution. It's inconsistent. Again, inconsistent. We know that just by geometry. So what we're going to do instead is trying to find a least squared solution. The least squared solution, remember from the first video, um, is going to be I'm going to replace. I'm going to try to find a x hat equals b hat, where b hat is the projection into the column space of a of my given vector b. Okay, so we're going to do this over in MATLAB right now with the normal equations. And what we're going to do is set up a system, the normal equations would tell, tell us to set up the system A transpose A times X hat equals A transpose times B. Not B hat, but B with the, with the uh, arrowhead on top of it that we're given already. All right, so we're going to do this by first of all calculating A transpose A and then A transpose B and then solving a system that way. So let's, I'll see you over in MATLAB in just a moment. Okay, so here we are in MATLAB, and I've entered in the coefficient matrix and the solution vector. And uh, again, we already know this. what's going to happen when I try to rare reduce uh, these guys here. I get an inconsistent system. So uh, what I'm going to do instead is find the uh, normal equations and uh, solve that system instead. So the normal equations, again, uh, I'm going to rare reduce a system, but it's not the system I started with. The coefficient matrix in this system is A transpose times A. And then the solution vector is A transpose times B. And here's the solution I actually get. Uh, if you want to see this piece by piece, you can do it like as follows. So A transpose times A is this 3 by 3 matrix. And then A transpose times B is this uh, 3 by 1 uh, vector. And what you can do here is um, 
another way to solve this system is to let say y equal a transpose times b and then calculate a transpose times a inverse, the whole thing inverse, times y and that gives you the same uh, vector. So our uh, parabola of best fit is going to have is going to be 1.25 x squared minus 4.75 x plus 4.5. Now I'm going to do a little magic here in MATLAB and come back in just a second and see if this really looks like the parabola of best fit. So just to close this out, let's take a look at our results here and see if we actually did get a parabola of best fit. Over here on the right, you see our four points plotted out here in space. Uh, and over here, I'm, I am going to now plot the parabola that we think is a parabola of best fit. I'll just go ahead and click this. We'll go back to our screen, and as you can see, this is a pretty uh, about as good of a fit as you could possibly hope for does go through these two points and sort of splits right up the middle through these second two. Again, it's not a perfect fit, but it's the closest approximation to a perfect fit that we can possibly get, and we get this using the normal equations.